breaking news here live at South Point. Apparently, a couple of nights ago, somebody stole a plant from the church grounds. Now, I'm not going to begin to say, I hope you're blessed with the plant, but I'm just going to say this. If you took it and you sold it, good for you. But ask. Maybe we... Maybe we'll give you a plant, but I'm so choked up about it, I don't even know what to say. Sir, got an innocent bystander here, James. He's going to tell us exactly, or he's going to tell us his side of the story. James. All I know is when I showed up yesterday for church, Pastor Jerry was really upset. Mm. He got here, and all of where the plant used to be, all there is is a big hole in the ground. I don't know what happened to it. He doesn't know what happened to it, but I know it really upset him. Yes, he, he's really upset, and you know, really, I, I just don't know what to say. I, I, I really don't know. But the plan is gone, but we must move on. So, we're going to go ahead and go right into the South Point Scoop with Brock Campbell. What up, Brock? Hey there, South Point. Brock Campbell here. Welcome to you to another edition of the South Point Scoop. Hey, we want to take just a second to welcome all of our guests out there. Should have got a connection card when you came through the door. It's pretty self-explanatory. Fill it out. Drop it in the offering thing along with your check. Hey, check it out. Next Sunday is our Independence Day celebration here at South Point. And you know what else it is? It's Brock's birthday along with Miss Laura sitting out there. So, hey. Forget about the birth of our country and think about the birth of Brock. That's right. Hey, next Sunday is also the first Sunday for our first Sunday Connection Group celebration. It's all ages. We've got, well, not all ages. You've got to be at least 20. We got 20s and 30s. We got 30s and 40s. We got 50 plus top notch, and it's all happening here at the church at 6 p.m. having a big old cookout. It's gonna be awesome. So if you haven't gotten connected here at South Point with your connection group, come on out. It's gonna be awesome. We're kicking it off with a bang. Monday here at South Point at 7 p.m. we have the Source. This is an awesome Bible study been going great got tons of people coming out but we need more all right all right we're gonna go ahead and cut on over to another fabulous South Point commercial courtesy of Brock you smell that chlorine no that is freedom my friend it smells like there's too much chlorine in there to me no, my friend, that is the sweet smell of freedom. Daddy, my eyes are burning again. I told you not to open them under the water, sweetheart. But I'm wearing my goggles. Off you go. What were we talking about? Chlorine? No, freedom. Yes, the sweet smell of freedom. You know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't smell it somewhere. The freedom that I have of choosing ribeye over sirloin. Freedom that I have to watch my son play his baseball games, knowing that he has the freedom of making anything out of himself that he wants. With lots and lots of practice. The freedom that I have of choosing charcoal over gas. I smell freedom. I smell an explosion. What was that? I smell dinner. God bless America! He already has. Indeed he has. A lot. A lot. You know what, it's worse. America's better off than the vast majority of countries in the world. Yeah, I mean, think about it. God has blessed America with countless uh, numbers of men and women who were willing to give their lives so that we can live in a country that is run by its citizens rather than a dictator. Right? And not only that, but think about this. I have the God-given freedom to speak my mind and not have to worry about being in prison. Think about this. We live in a country that like, no matter your age, your race, your gender, your religious preference, we were all created equal. C created, right? Means there has to be a creator, and that creator is God. And not only that, 
I have the freedom on any given Sunday, for that matter, any day of the week, to worship God wherever I want, however I want. Why do I have that freedom? Because of God. You know what? I stopped listening about a quarter of the way through, but you had me at God Bless America. Yeah, I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> I did say that. You're right. No, oh, I also said this. W-W-A-L-D? What would Abe Lincoln do? Think about that, my friend. What would Abe Lincoln do? Probably use less lighter fluid. Hey, but you know what time it is? That's right, it's time for the Big Scoop. Hey, and the Big Scoop this week is three different things in one. Hey, we have going on right after church our Mommy and Me Connection Group. Hey, that's for little kids and their mommies. They're gonna come in, they're gonna make some crafts, lunch is gonna be served, it's gonna be awesome. And then at 3 p.m. we have Bowling Connection Group, and that's going on at none other than Bowling World. Hey, you're gonna meet... You're gonna meet at Bowling World! That's right, you're not coming to the church at 3 p.m. You're gonna be at Bowling World. All ages are encouraged. It doesn't matter if you're terrible at bowling. Brock is too. It's okay. Come on out, have some fellowship, and it's a good time. And then at 5 p.m., that's right, three connection groups in one day, you better believe it. At 5 p.m., the motorcycle group is meeting here at South Point. They're gonna go on a short drive, not sure where, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome, and it's gonna be a full day of nothing but connection groups. And that's it for the South Point Scoop today. Hey, be sure to join us next time where we celebrate, connect, and contribute. Rock Campbell, peace out.